Joseph's brothers go back to Egypt. Jacob and his sons ate all the food. Then Jacob said, Go back to Egypt and get some more food. Judah said, The man in Egypt told us to bring Benjamin with us. I will keep him safe. Jacob agreed. He prayed God would keep all his sons safe. The brothers went to Egypt. They took presents. Joseph saw them coming. He cooked a meal. Joseph's servant brought them to his house. They were afraid. They thought they would be put in prison. They told the servant about the money. They said they had brought it back. They had brought presents as well. The servant told them not to be afraid. He said God was with them. Joseph came home. He asked how they were. He asked how their father was. He saw Benjamin. They all ate the meal. Benjamin got more than the others. The silver cup and the sack. The brothers went home. Joseph put the money back in their sacks. He put a silver cup in Benjamin's sack. He sent his men after them. He told them to ask about the money and the cup. The one who had the cup must stay in Egypt. They found the cup in Benjamin's sack. They all went back to Joseph's house. Joseph said Benjamin must stay and be his slave. Judah told Joseph how sad their father would be. He had promised to look after Benjamin. He said he would stay instead of Benjamin. Joseph tells his brothers who he is. Joseph could not pretend any more. He cried. He told them he was Joseph. He told them not to be afraid. God was with him. God had saved his life. God had helped him to save their lives too. God had blessed him. He had kept him safe. He hugged and kissed all his brothers. He told them to go and bring back their father. Pharaoh and his family heard the news. They were very pleased. Pharaoh gave them presents to take home. He gave them a cart to bring Jacob back in. The brothers went home. They told Jacob that Joseph was alive. He was ruler of Egypt. At first Jacob did not believe them. Then he saw all the presents. He believed then that Joseph was alive. He wanted to go and see him before he died. Jacob meets Joseph again. Jacob went to Egypt with all his family. At Beersheba he thanked God. God told him not to be afraid. He was with him. He would keep him safe. He would bless him and his sons. They all met Joseph at Goshen. Joseph hugged and kissed his father. Jacob was very happy. They all lived in Goshen. Pharaoh met Jacob. Jacob blessed him. Goshen was a very good place to live. Joseph and the famine. There was another bad time in Egypt. There was no more food or money. Joseph told the people to sell their animals to him. He gave them food. Then there were no more animals. Then the people sold their land to Joseph to buy food. Joseph gave seeds to the people. They had to give him some of the food they grew. Joseph and his family had lots of food in Goshen. Jacob was now very old. He asked to see Joseph. He blessed Joseph. He asked him to bury him at home. He wanted to be with his family. He did not want to be buried in Egypt. 
Joseph promised to take him home when he died. Jacob thanked God. He praised God. Ephraim and Manasseh. Jacob was ill. Joseph took his two sons to see Jacob. They were called Ephraim and Manasseh. Jacob told Joseph how God had blessed him. God would make him and his family great. Jacob blessed Joseph. Then he blessed Ephraim and Manasseh. Joseph was cross because Jacob blessed Ephraim first. Ephraim was the youngest son. Jacob said he knew this. He said Ephraim would be greater than Manasseh. He said God would be with Joseph. He would go back to his own land. He would be greater than all his brothers. Jacob dies. Jacob asked to see all his sons. He blessed each one of them. He told them they would each have big families. Jacob told them where he wanted to be buried. It was the field where Abraham and Sarah were buried. Isaac and Rebekah and Leah were buried there. Jacob died. Joseph cried. Joseph and his brothers took their father home. They buried him in the field as they promised. Then they all went back to Egypt. Joseph's brothers were afraid. They told Joseph they were sorry for what they did to him. Joseph told them not to be afraid. He was kind to them. Joseph dies. Joseph stayed in Egypt with his family. He lived for 110 years. Then Joseph told his brothers he was going to die. He asked them to take him home when they left Egypt.